hello and welcome to the blender barbox channel today we are going to look into how we can model the actually it's not modeling how we can import the city that you see in 3d uh, formats so we will see how we can import this from google maps and then display it in blender as you can see there are options to edit each building individually so now let's get started with this and let's see how we can do this so the first thing to do is to install the blender js add-on which is available in this link i will put the link down in the description section you can find the link the link there so once you open it you'll uh, go to this page and here you see uh, the code and then, and then you can click here and then download the zip file so we will use that zip file for uh, the installation purpose all right so once you you download it once the uh, js blender add-on is downloaded you can go to edit preferences then go to add-ons and then click install and then go to your downloads folder where you downloaded the zip file and then select the blender js zip file and then click on install add-on so i have already installed it so for in my case i will just look for it So in my case, it's already installed and I've already checked this uh, value. But in your case, this may not be ticked. So make sure you select, you checked this box, 3D view, Blender JS. Once you check this, another thing to consider is go to the base map section under the Blender JS base map section and then go to the cache folder then make sure you give it a pass that where you can you will store your uh, js your projects in js blender all right so once you are done with it close this one now when you go to your general blender view you'll see right up here that there's a js button appearing now so click that okay first let me select everything and let me clear this now click on the js icon then go to the web geodata then you'll have three options so we'll see them uh, each one by one so our idea is to generate, to import 3D building models in a large city scale. Of course, the area of your uh, interest may be limited with the capacity of your computational power of your computer. So, okay, the first step is to select the base map. So, the source is Google, and the layer is satellites image so leave everything on the default and then click on ok so once you click ok uh, you'll be you'll you'll start viewing this map so this is a satellite imagery okay let me turn on the hot keys so that you can see um okay it's okay you can just press the plus sign to zoom in and the minus sign to zoom out okay. 
and if you want to go to a particular location press G and then uh, you can search for instance I'll look for New, New York city and the zoom level can be for now I'll start with 15 then it will take time to load now it's loaded so this is the satellite imagery of the New York City and you can manage your zoom level with the minus and plus sign but the more uh, zoomed you are in the better the resolution will be but the file size also will uh, increase so you have to do some compromise all right so in my case i guess i will use this section of the city so once you locate the area of your interest press l to lock the view then press e to ext uh, to extract this information all right when you exp uh, press e now the information is extracted in this format so if i go to front view and different views you can see this is a flat surface the image is there but there is no elevation value and also there's there are no building uh, height information on this one so now we have the base information the next step is to add the elevation information that we need this is a gate elevation sr team format press this one uh, there are uh, three options the first two they will need api key uh, if you are registered on open topography i haven't uh, done that so the free version is a marinegeo.org jmrt so select this and then press ok so they are similar but uh, it's the it's the uh, elevation the resolution will vary so now you see we have some elevation values of the topography area so it's not as flat as it was earlier okay all right now we have imported the topography value the next thing is to import the building height information values so uh, mind you always make sure the layer is selected while you are doing these operations so next go to JS we have uh, geodata now to get the building information go to the open street map and select the building values if you want you can add highway land use leisure natural railway waterway information for now i will leave them i'm just interested in the building information so make sure the building extrusion is uh, checked i will leave the default values and then press ok it will take time to load the mod the building models this will depend on the power of your computer okay now it's done now you can see we are able to import the part of the new york city uh, skyline here you can see various building building shapes and with different height information so this will be interesting for various projects all right so when i select it everything is now like a single model if you want you can import each individual building so there is an option here separate object so make sure it's ticked and then okay
Okay, it's uh, not working. Let me try again. Oh, it's because I didn't select this one. So uh, make sure this layer is selected. Then now go to JS Web Geodata and then Gates Open Street Map. Now make sure the separate objects option is ticked and then press OK. Now it will uh, take a little bit of time and it's done. So the difference between the earlier process is if you if you see you can select each individual building now instead of the whole like uh, earlier before and you can work on each of the buildings individually if you want to edit something or add something yeah so this will be cool for uh, various projects that uh, you'll be doing in blender or other projects so this is how you can import 3d uh, building models in of the open street map and the google image in combination to the blender software so i hope you liked the this uh, video so that's all for today if you like to get more updates on blender tips and uh, different tutorials please make sure to like and subscribe the channel i'll see you next time with another blender video thank you for watching take care